Oh, shit. There you are. All this for a child who isn't even here. What the hell do you... Ah! You ungrateful, selfish wretch. Uncanny Carlos. Hello, my friends. I'm back with another unboxing video. Today, I'm going to be unboxing the Resident Evil Lady Dimitrescu Quarter Skill Statue Exclusive Edition by Pure Arts. Look how massive this box is. It was also heavy. The Exclusive Edition includes a life-size metal replica of Lady Dimitrescu key. The Exclusive Edition is limited to 100 units and it sold out within hours of going live. The standard edition is still available if you're interested. I'll put the link in the video description. I can't believe it has been a whole year since I purchased this statue last summer and now she's here. My friend Jeremy also purchased this statue and we have been impatiently waiting for her to arrive. Jeremy has the biggest Resident Evil collection I have ever seen. Make sure you check him out. So who is Lady Dimitrescu? Who is this fancy sexy lady? Countess Alcina Dimitrescu, famously known as Lady Dimitrescu was introduced in Resident Evil Village. Ethan Winters encounters Alcina in her castle Dimitrescu, where he is stalked by Lady Dimitrescu and her three daughters, Bella, Cassandra, and Daniela. When I played the game, she reminded me of Nemesis and Mr. X. She has long retractable claws that extend from her fingertips and is extremely tall. Lady Dimitrescu is nine feet Six inches tall, so this statue better be massive. You ruined everything! <laughs> this is such an incredible addition to my Resident Evil collection, and I can't wait to unbox her. So let's get started. This huge box is beautiful. You can see Lady Dimitrescu and her castle. It came with simple instructions, just like the liquor bust. Check out my liquor bust unboxing video if you haven't seen it. Everything is so well organized. This is the best COA I've ever seen. It's even made out of rose gold metal. I have number 54 out of 100. Here is the Dimitrescu life-size metal replica key made out of metal. This was included in the exclusive edition. It is 100% accurate to the key we see in Resident Evil Village. I absolutely love it. Here is the Dimitres key next to my other classic Resident Evil keys. Lady D is heavy. I'll have to carefully place her down to find the base. Alcina's fancy hat is so cool. The base is huge, bigger than my head. You simply insert the metal rod to the base and her shoes also have magnets to make sure it stays in place. Lady Dimitrescu comes with two hand poses. First, I'm going to test out her cigarette with long holder pose.
What an elegant woman. Now let's try her extended claws pose. Each finger has a little hole where you insert each claw. Inserting her claws was a little tricky and frightening because they remained wobbly even after they had gone in all the way. I might glue them just to make sure they don't fall off. The extended claws pose is 100% better than the cigarette pose. Ladies claws are enormous. I've never seen a display base for spare parts. What an unexpected surprise because this was not advertised. So awesome by Pure Arts. Alcina's portrait is stunning. Her beautiful eyes are made out of glass. They're so realistic that they even look wet like actual eyes. And she even has her long eyelashes. Her eyebrows look super realistic as well. I love how her red lipstick shines. Her white skin also has a lot of texture and her hair looks great. Her pearl and gold necklace looks perfect. You can also see more texture on her chest. Her custom tailored and weathered dress looks 100% accurate to the game. The fall wood and marble base is so elegant like the Dimitres castle. It is gorgeous. Check it out. I love that Pure Arts included this important wooden door from Castle Dimitrescu that you have to unlock using the maroon eye. Here you can see her white shoes and super pale legs. I love the use of mixed media for this beautiful statue. Her hat also has a lot of texture. Ladies claws are incredible, still can't get over how massive they are. Here is Lady Dimitrescu next to Jade and Reptile one third skill statue. Lady Dimitrescu is 35 inches tall with her claws, almost 3 feet. Width is about 20 inches and the depth is 14 inches ish. This quarter scale statue is taller than my one third skill statues. Crazy. Overall, the Lady Dimitrescu one quarter scale statue is phenomenal. I can't believe she's even taller than my one third scale statues. This makes Lady Dimitrescu the tallest statue in my entire collection. As you guys can tell, I am extremely happy with this purchase and I highly recommend it to other hardcore Resident Evil fans. I'll need to figure out where I'm going to place her because my original plan clearly didn't work. She's blocking my TV. That's how tall she is. I plan to get a small display base and place her next to my liquor bust. For now, she'll hang out in my Mortal Kombat room. Amigos, I would like to know who is your favorite Resident Evil villain of all time? Please let me know in the comments. Mine is probably Nemesis. He was a nightmare in Resident Evil 3 and is such an icon of Resident Evil. It was so cool to see him in Dead by Daylight as a killer. I think Lady Dimitres would be an excellent killer in Dead by Daylight as well. One year ago, I was finally able to purchase my first house, which allowed me to dedicate an entire room in my house to my Mortal Kombat collection that includes statues, figures, props from the 90s Mortal Kombat movies, every Mortal Kombat game released in the US, VHS, vinyl records, magazines, comic books, art, pins, socks, t-shirts, and much more. Check out my Mortal Kombat room tour video to see my entire Mortal Kombat collection. Our next goal is to hit 1000 subscribers and to celebrate, we will be giving away this brand new statue of Raiden, the God of Thunder. To win, all you have to do is subscribe to my YouTube channel, like and comment 
on any of my videos or social media posts. Good luck, my friends. Amigos, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell notification so you don't miss my next videos featuring the Mortal Kombat 1 Collector Edition Liu Kang statue, Noob Saiba, Kitana, and Melina, new statues by PCS, Joe Valentine and Nemesis by Prime One Studio, Cyclops by Sideshow, and other gaming and wrestling content. I really appreciate you guys for watching my videos. Take care and I'll see you next time. Uncanny Carlos.